everybody, it's Caitlin, your favorite Michigan girl, crazy Star Wars fan, Disney geek, and pop culture nerd here with finally another trailer reaction. I know it's been forever since I've done one of these. I just don't know why. I think I feel slightly guilty because my trailer reactions, I don't actually have that screen within a screenshot so you don't see the trailer while I'm reacting. So I do apologize for that. I'm going to try and get better at doing these even if I haven't figured out how to do this cool screen within a screen. Anyway. As you can see, I've got BB-8 with me today because we are doing a trailer reaction for the Star Wars Resistance Season 1 mid-season trailer. Now, this is the new animated series that has gotten some love and some hate and some stuff in the middle from Star Wars fans. Um, there's been some talk about how it's a lot less, it's more immature, it's childish, and some fans don't like it. I, however, am not one of those fans. I actually do like Star Wars Resistance. It is what Dave Filoni said it was going to be, which is a Star Wars TV show purposely aimed at a younger viewing audience. However, that doesn't make it, in my mind, any less enjoyable for adults. Anyone who knows the story of Star Wars knows that basically Star Wars was aimed at kids and, like, their tween, so it was never meant to be this thing that even adults would like. So, that being said... I am excited to see where the season ends up. I, I, I did have my doubts going into Resistance simply because a lot of people didn't seem thrilled with this. Um, I, however, have fallen madly in love with it. I think it is really cool and really unique, and it is nice after having the Clone Wars and Rebels being CGI to have this really cool animation style that is kind of evoking old anime and in many ways kind of reminds me of Avatar The Last Bender and its animation. Um, I love this plot. I really like it. I, I also like the fact that so far there are no Force sensitive, so it's really nice. Um, for those of you who don't know might have forgotten, the plot centers around a young pilot named Kaz who is recruited by Poe Dameron to serve the Resistance as a spy. Now Kaz is not a spy. He's a really really talented pilot. He's a lot like Poe. Um, and Poe sends him to this um, platform, which is home to these races, to spy and figure out what is going on with the guy who runs the platform, um, Doza, who, spoiler if you haven't watched the season, seems to be on the verge of inking a deal with the First Order to protect the platform from pirate attacks. And there's a lot of interesting stuff going on. The, um, one of the episodes really hinted towards something in Dorsa's past. It, it's just been a really good series. And what I love is much like Rebels and much like Clone Wars, where we had some of the Star Wars actors. You had Anthony Daniels, you had Liam Neeson, you had some of these guys who were in the movies come back and do their voices for the anime series. You're having that with Resistance. Of course, Oscar Isaac, um, Adam Driver, Gwendolyn Christie, they have all come back to repraise their voices for as Poe, Phasma, and Kylo Ren in this series, which makes it so cool, and I love it so much. So, with that being said, let's find out, let's get some hints about what's going to happen in the second half of the season. So, here we go. The reaction for our Star Wars Resistance mid-season mm -hmm. trailer. Mm -hmm. BB, are you excited? I am too. Oh, they're cute! Uh oh. That is the fourth TIE fighter to arrive here this week. You have such a tremendous interest in the First Order. Now that they are increasing their security presence on the Colossus, you must be thrilled! These guys aren't security, they're stormtroopers, and stormtroopers are only for one thing. Looks like there was a system here, but there's no star. Those planetoids, what could have done that? Oh my god. Pirates, travel the aces! You need troops to protect your station, not racers. First Order will provide all aerial security. All racers are officially grounded. Whoa! Are you serious? We need a plan. They could be preparing for war. That's why they want this station. Mm. Let's blast some bucket heads. <laughs> Azuda, if you can leave 
your head down until things cool off. Yeah! The First Order has a way of making people disappear. Guys, we are the Resistance now. And we're taking back the Colossus. Hit it, Mel! Hey, brownie faces! <laughs> Kaz, <laughs> I'd fight alongside you any day. That is a truly amazing plan! just talking about how it's a kid show and that just amped it up <laughs> holy cow so it seems like dorza the guy who runs the colossus has made his choice to side with the first order and as from what i can see and what you guys probably saw or see if you go watch this trailer you can tell it's not going to end well for the people who call the colossus home and work there i mean at one point you hear the announcement that they are grounding all the racers, and the racers aren't just, like, racers and not just entertainment. They actually are the first line of defense for the classes. So those are the guys who have the aces, the top pilots, are the ones who have been defending the classes against pirate attacks on top of the defenses it already has. And one of those aces is Dorza's daughter, Horoth. Um, and if you've seen Resistance, you know he's a little protective of his baby girl. Isn't that right, BB-8? Um... So it looks like the ace, so the first order comes, looks like the aces are going to be grounded, and it looks like, just with rebels, you're going to start seeing the ordinary people rise up and push back against this regime. Um, the one thing that got me is Hux. We heard Hux, and we saw a hologram of Hux. The first order troopers were watching him. Um, we've also seen Starkiller base again, but the thing that gets me is the fact that speech, when I heard it, I think that is the speech Hux gives um, right before they test Starkiller Base for the first time and destroy the seat of the New Republic. Um, so that's true. This really is kind of bumping into Force Awakens, but I don't think that's true because Poe is still missing at that point. So it's very, very interesting because they did say that this series takes place like right before, like a year or a few months before Force Awakens. So hearing Hux and hearing that speech, which kind of sounds almost identical to me to the speech Hux gives in the Force Awakens, is like, wow, this is this is really close. I mean, in Rebels, they hinted at that it was really close at the end of Rebels. Um, took place, like, right before Rogue One. And then, so it, it's very interesting to me that, that they have that kind of closeness to them. So... Tell me what you guys think in the comments below if anybody watches this. are you? Have you guys seen Resistance? Do you like Resistance? Do you hate it? What do you like, hate, love about it? Um, do you like the, the, the kind of nuances, this little, the plots? What do you think of Kaz? Um, the, are you excited if you like Resistance? Are you excited for the second half of this season? And where do you think the story is going to go? You guys, don't forget, 2019 is a huge year for Star Wars fans. We don't just have Resistance. In, less, in just about three months, Star Wars Celebration Chicago is kicking off for five days. And they just announced some of the voice actors who will be appearing, including some voices from Star Wars Resistance. James Arnold Taylor, who is the voice of Obi-Wan in Clone Wars. Matt Wood, the voice of Grievous. And the woman who does Iden Versio in Star Wars Battlefront 2. So that's getting so don't so Star Wars Celebration is this year. We're getting a ton of comics, some standalone comics for Grievous and Dooku and Obi Wan and Anakin. We have we've already got one released for Qui Gon. Um, we've got three big books coming out this year for Star Wars. We've got Queen Shadow, which is all about Padme becoming a senator. We've got Master and Apprentice, which is about Qui Gon and Obi Wan. And they announced it. And of course, we've got Thrawn Treason, which takes place right in the middle of Star Wars Rebels Season 4. And also, the big news is we've got a couple new games, including the De um, Fallen Order game. We've got um, a new Darth Vader virtual reality, uh, virtual augmented reality experience. And, of course, the kicker, the end of this year in 2019, 
will be Star Wars Episode 9, the final Skywalker Saga episode. So 2019 is a huge year, and let's not forget, on top of all that, Disneyland and Disney World will be opening Galaxy's Edge, the Star Wars-themed parks at Disneyland and, Disney, and Disney's Hollywood Studios in Orlando, Florida. So this is a huge, momentous year for Star Wars fans. It is like the biggest year ever. There is so much Star Wars stuff coming out that I don't even know where, where to begin. So it's insane. So I think releasing this trailer is a great way to get us pumped and get us excited. So you guys, if you haven't yet, go check out the mid-season trailer for Star Wars Resistance and tell me your guys' thoughts below. And also, tell me what Star Wars thing you are most looking forward to in 2019. I can't pick one. It's kind of insane. So, from BB-8 and I, we are signing off. Go check out the trailer, and as always, may the Force be with you. See you guys later.